Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Susan Sarandon. I'm here with Saoirse Ronan, Rachel Weiss, and we're here to talk about Lovely Bones. And we're going to ask each other some of uh, your questions, and we're also going to think up some questions of our own, which will be unscripted. I think I'm going to ask the first question. What's your favorite way to de-stress after working on an emotionally difficult film like this one? When we were making this movie, Henry, my son, was one years old. So yeah. having a little bubby at home to go and cuddle and play with, uh, that's, a, that's a really good way of de-stressing. Yeah. yeah, you can't remember any of the bad fictional things you've been thinking about during the day when you've got a little bubby to cuddle. I know. You met Henry. He's he gorgeous. takes your mind off his anything. Hair. His hair. He's not blonde anymore. What? Yeah, he's a he had those curly blonde oh, yeah. eyes. Oh. Straight and round. Oh, what? Straight and round. <laughs> wow, what the child has changed yeah. completely. Completely. Ah! Unscripted. Ah! <laughs> okay, Rachel to Susan, unscripted. You play an alcoholic in this movie, essentially. Do you think um, it would help to, to really be drunk whilst acting? No. Or do you think it I don't think being really drunk helps about anything. It, it doesn't, really. right? <laughs> Maybe junkets, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're doing it over and over, and that, that scene that we did on the porch, you know, where I was supposed to be drunk probably would have been warmer if I was really drunk, but then you can't remember what you're doing. I, I don't know, maybe sometimes people actually do get really drunk. I would be too scared, yeah, and I too. would forget everything. And people change in different ways when they're drunk as well. I mean, somebody could be a happy drunk, somebody could be aggressive, so. Yeah. I would be so nervous to be in any way altered on TV or during a film. Mm. But people have done it back in the I've day. Done Some it. of the great, have you? Oh yeah, <laughs> never going there again. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. see, that was unscripted. That was, I had that no was idea. Good, actually, <laughs> I'm proud of that. Yeah, back when you were six, right? Uh, well, seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm Irish, so what do you expect? Okay. Oh, sorry. I want um, my question. So the afterlife scenes in the film are visually stunning. What was your process? What was your process uh, with director Peter Jackson in creating the in between? It certainly wasn't difficult. As we all know, most of it was in the script already, and I hadn't read the book at the time, so that wasn't something that I could go back to. During the takes, Pete would actually talk to me, uh -huh. and he would describe what was going on around me, and uh, and I was able to react to that. So, uh, so that really helped. And we'd also play music an awful lot, which would sort of reflect the mood of the scene. Mm -hmm. And Pete is a, is very involved as a director anyway. I mean, he's got a clear vision, and as soon as he establishes that, it's it's all. Plain sailing from there. From Billy in Wilmington, North Carolina, The Lovely Bones takes place in the 1970s. Which part of your costume are you most glad to be rid of? The clothes or the hair? Billy, you've seen the movie. The clothes and the hair rock. They're completely fantastic. Yeah. I love the 70s fashion. I think uh, it's gone steadily downhill since then. Look at the 80s. Look at the 90s. I agree Dreadful. with you, Rachel. Yeah, yeah put it there Go for girl. some bled bell bottoms Go and for a little the 70s. nylon. Yeah. 70s and all the way. And it's coming back as well. Yeah. Everyone's always quoting the 70s, right? It's, yeah. It was the, the coolest time ever. I don't love polyester. I prefer... Um, Cotton, is it called? Yes, yeah. cotton. <laughs> That's the name of it. Ne never has there been better hairstyles than in the 70s, as far as I'm concerned. I agree. Billy. This is your second role based on a character from a best-selling novel. Do you, in case you didn't know that, do you have a favorite book you'd love to see on the big screen? I don't know if that means that you're in it or you could just have, have any book that you love on the big screen. The book that I'm reading at the moment, Susan, yes, there's is The Diary of Anne Frank, which is extremely interesting as it's about a 13-year-old girl. You're already too old for that. I know, but I mean, I couldn't really. You couldn't really be. No. It's been done anyway. But I, I don't think there's been a movie. Has there? There probably has. But um, Millie I, Perkins. OK. She was well about I, 30 when she did it, actually. I there was a great oh, there was, a, there was another book, actually, that I read when I was younger called the, I think it was The Secret of Platform 13. And that was a very interesting book. That would actually make a great movie. So I would say that. Go you know, there was answer. a stage version of uh, Diary of Anne Frank, which Piers Zeodora played, and it was her husband was the producer and stuck her, and she wasn't really suited for the part. Right. And uh, after about ten minutes, the audience was so uh, you know annoyed with this performance that they just said, "She's in the attic." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Susan. Yes. What's your idea of heaven on earth? Oh my. Gosh, <laughs> I think it's not PG. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I, I'm trying to censor myself now mm. and see what that would be. 
I saw it in your eyes. It was unsayable. <laughs> it was unsayable. Uh, yeah. um, heaven on earth would be, I suppose, just unlimited. Um, <laughs> um, unlimited. <laughs> there we go. And even more of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and um, and in a warm place. <laughs> I am, I'm and I you. think maybe <laughs> lots of choice, good food, excellent, and good music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sounds good. Thanks. Unscripted. Have you ever thought about going into music business, to sing, to be a rock star, to be, do a musical, any of that? Has that caught your fancy That's yet? a very good question, Susan. <laughs> Thank you so for that unscripted question. <laughs> yeah, I would actually like to do a musical. Unfortunately, I don't play any instruments or anything, which I'd really like to. I wanted to play the piano, but now I want to play the guitar. It's, just it's not that hard, I don't think. I don't no. play, but I hear it's not that hard. No. Electric? Um, not necessarily, no. Any old guitar will do. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I can hold a note, put it that way. So it would be nice to train a little bit. I like voice work as well. I mean, when we did voiceover for this, I really enjoyed just using my voice and not worrying about anything else. So I think that's something that I'd actually really enjoy. You Thank you for your question. You're so welcome. <laughs> There's some great award buzz around the lovely Bones, and you've all previously been nominated for Oscars. <laughs> Do you have a good luck charm or any award superstitions? Hmm. I'd like to make one up because it sounds much more interesting yeah, if I do have you one. You should have one, right? I should have one, definitely. I did the year that I won, had a little string bracelet with a thing on that I kept on that I didn't take off, and then I did win. Oh. I have no idea where that is. It must have been. It wasn't the performance. It was the string. <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> the string. The string. The string. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess you always feel like you don't want to talk about it or it won't happen. Mm. That kind of is a mm. superstition, I, right? You get yeah, too excited. And, and, and. But that was the only little superstition thing. Mm. Oh, thank you, Sirsha and Rachel. Now, this is an outro. I've never heard of that. It's a whole an new outro. word. outro. It's an outre, outro. Outre. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome, Rachel. <laughs> Thanks to Movie Phone and to you for watching and sending in your questions. And to us for being unscripted. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. And um, give me your hands. OK. To everyone at home, please check out our film, The, the Lovely, Lovely Bones. Bones. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> the Lovely Bones.